Hey, bro, I tried to tell y'all niggas, bro. I tried to tell y'all. I made a, I made a reaction to the Warriors the other day, bro, and I literally said this, bro. Jordan Poole need the Lakers. I mean, Jordan Poole need the Warriors, and the Warrior need Jordan Poole, bro. Because without him, he's ass. Without him, they playing ass because they need somebody else to, like, feel in that ball to score because Clay is not it. But this is what I'm saying. Jordan Poole, bro, he good. I feel like the Warriors should have killed him, my nigga. But right now, trying to hand this nigga a franchise was, a, was stupid as shit. This nigga is not the same. This nigga, he the same player that he always been, but it works on the Warriors because some games he 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 can like drop 10 and they win. But some games when they need him, he could drop 25, 20, 30. You know what I'm saying? When Clay I'm struggling, that's why you need him. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. The Warriors need him or a player like him to you feel me? They need him, bro. Yeah, CP3 good as fuck. There would have been a great addition along with Jordan Poole. But they need this nigga, bro. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. Draymond ruined it. He ruined it. I'm just being real. He fucked it up. Fucked it up. I'm just being real. But like, Jordan Poole, played, he played like a reckless nigga at a &U. That's how one of my favorite players played, LaMelo Ball. He played like that too. He a little reckless sometimes, but LaMelo Ball way better than this nigga. Facts. He have, Jordan Poole have great highlights. But you but if you look at the highlights that they be posting on House of Highlights, Bleach Report, he finished the game with like 15, 14 points, shooting 6 of 19. But come on, man. So, like, I know he got the talent, but he need that. He, he need the Warriors, bro. He need to go back to the Warriors, my nigga. They should have, well, they should have kept him. That's what I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? Let's just get into the video. Because they said things ain't looking good for Jordan Poole. You know what I'm saying? A clip went viral of him being a diva during a time. Wait, wait, what was that? I never seen this. He was talking shit. To hate on oh, okay, okay. Poole right now. A clip went viral of him being a diva. He's saucy as hell. The worst part was him screaming at his own teammates. It is my team. I got this. But that clip doesn't. That's crazy. You don't say that. It is my team. I got this. But that clip doesn't show what actually happened. The timeout was with a minute 28 left in the game. Just before okay. that, Wizards up by two with 2.30 left. Poole turns the ball over and it leads to a game-tying layup. Then, Brooklyn takes a one-point lead and Poole turns... See, my nigga, he's... 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 Um, it over again. He's the dumb, Nets bro. Then hunt Poole on defense. Mikal Bridges gets the switch, takes Poole one-on-one. -on -one. Good defense Dances, so far. Hits the fadeaway dagger. So they call a timeout and Poole is furious at himself but the viral clip starts off with mad he got looked off meaning pool wanted the ball but his teammate wouldn't pass it that's just false and it makes you suspicious of all the other captions it's my team i got this are you sure i'm not a lip reader but that is not what he is saying this oh what the, was so what the fuck what, what the fuck going on in this video then jordan pool look bad but why? He makes himself look horrible already. Two True. turnovers and got hunted on defense to lose a game. Do we really need to lie about him being a diva too? No, Jordan Poole is finding out a harsh truth about the NBA. But first, I made a huge mistake that I'm really embarrassed about. When I was younger... Well, this is the thing though, like, Jordan Poole could potentially... Maybe this, maybe he needed this, you know what I'm saying? Because he got, I told you, he got the talent. But he don't have the IQ right now. I feel like he's just playing bad. He playing ass. I don't care what I don't care what you guys say. But he's got. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a, like a. I know the NBA. I know the NBA. I'm not a casual, bro. I know this shit. I've been doing this shit for years. Even though I'm young as shit, I've been doing this shit for years. This nigga Jordan Poole though, he have all the talent to be an All Star. He does. And I honestly think he can average 25 plus points on 40, 44 plus shooting, front field. You know what I'm saying? I think he got the potential, bro. But like, it's like at the same time, bro. I, I just need him to like, I don't know, bro. Maybe it's the Warriors team. I like, I don't know. I just wish he stayed on the Warriors. The old school way, which is to get a department store card and buy a bunch. What the fuck game you talking about, my nigga? Come on. Yours up. Bank and Come on, gang. How hard it is. All about the impact on your credit score. Late payment may negatively Nigga, fuck a Cresco, we getting rich. Hey, tell me. We don't need a Cresco, you getting rich, we getting money. Nah, no, I'm playing, but I'm broke as shit. How hard it is to be the man. When the Niggas be capping in it. It's all about you, it's tough. It's tough. Exactly. See, okay, okay. When Poole came into the league, everyone thought he was a bust. He was the 28th pick in the 2019 draft, 
right after they lost to the Raptors. Clay and Steph were injured basically his whole rookie year, and Poole was statistically the worst player in the NBA. So he was sent yeah. to the G League, and during the pandemic shutdown, he went to work. He upped his play from 8 points a game to 12 at better efficiency. But in eight games without Steph Curry, 22 points a night on 47% shooting, 39% from deep, See. a preview at how elite he would become. Yep. The dubs say they knew Poole was special on a Thursday night in 2022 against Denver. It was a tough game. They had to win. And with Steph and Clay on the floor, Poole scored 11 points in the fourth quarter, including back-to-back -back dagger threes to Damn. win it. Afterwards, Draymond Green said it allowed everyone else to gain confidence in him. I don't have to just go look. And your ass pushed it right out of him. <laughs> Draymond Debo, my nigga. Draymond been on a terror lately, bro. I ain't reacted to the video with him and Rudy Gobert. But that nigga just been on demon time. Draymond, it allowed everyone to gain confidence in him. Get the fuck out of here, Draymond. You pushed the shit out of this man and made him lose it. You made him this way. I'm, I'm just being real. For Steph or Clay, let's go to Jordan. That Get the fuck out of here, Draymond. Cool to have. So they faced the Nuggets. But nah, Jordan Poole was straight on the Warriors, bro. Won the first round by himself. His 86 points in his first three playoff games, second only to Wilt Chamberlain in NBA history. People Damn. started calling That's Poole the third Splash Brother. He, I think he, I think he got potential to be that. Warrior fans uh, could have been it. Jordan Poole got traded. He went from third Splash Brother to get him out of here. And the That's reason up, people man. turned on him so fast is why Poole's getting so much hate today. He's always been a trash talker. Dame told a story about how rookie JP caught him off guard one time. I'm at the free throw line and he's just back there just talking. So I turned to him and I'm like, man, like shut the, you know what I'm saying? Like shut up. That's how kind of how I said right. to him. He was like, make me. <laughs> and I just remember telling Draymond, like, man, I don't mess with that dude like that. Like I don't like him. But eventually Draymond didn't like him either. During practice, we now know that Poole said Draymond is an expensive backpack for Steph Damn. Curry. Now, I ain't gonna lie. A nigga like Joe Poole can get on your skin and make you want to punch him, though. I ain't gonna count. I ain't gonna count. You know? It kind of fucked. Damn. He said he an expensive backpack. Like, he getting carried. I mean... Now, I won't show the punch because YouTube will demonetize me, but we know what happened. And Poole I'll show it now. It would piss Dre off because he's insecure about that stuff. Just look at the Rudy Gobert thing. Dre won Defensive Player of the Year in 2017, but Gobert dominated the award, taking three of the next four. So Dre took it personal. He would get unnecessarily chippy. That's why he choked Rudy Gobert. Can he jazz over the defensive shit? That's why he choked him? Come on, Dre, you gotta do better than that. In games, made fun of Rudy for crying about the. I remember this. Okay, so he's been jealous. Years, it is Draymond sniping at Gobert. I think Rudy Gobert may be a, a better defensive um um big man than um, Draymond though. Draymond probably better perimeter on the perimeter. Until he took the opportunity to choke him. But Draymond got good. So of course he got good IQ though. Draymond. But I do I like Draymond. And at first, fans had pulls. I love IQ players. But then the season started. They had an awful record on the road. Ooh. And see his, his highlights nasty, bro. He played uh, he horrible it. defense and took stupid shots. Poole became basically unplayable in the postseason with turnovers and this stupid shot with ten seconds left to lose against the Lakers. That shot right there, bro. Let me see some. Turnovers and this stupid. Okay. Yeah, I, I was finna defeat him, but I forgot, like, nigga. <laughs> it's 10 seconds on the clock, my nigga. It's 10 seconds on the clock. You pass that bitch back to Curry or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my, you know, I was about to defend it. I was about to defend it. But, like, nah, he, he was wilding. He bugging. I ain't gonna care. With 10 he bugging. To lose against the Lakers. He a fucking idiot. I ain't gonna lie. I was about to defend it. I wish Draymond would knock him out right before Game 7 tip-off. His ego yeah. is stronger than his focus on the game. Imagine True. Warrior fans talking like that about their own player. Well, what's it going to look like when he's on a different team? The hate is off the charts. But it's kind of been justified. His highlights are embarrassing, but the stats are even worse. The Wizards... I ain't going to count, man. Him and, him and, him and on Kuzma, man. They, 
They won duo. That's all I'm gonna say. They they're a duo. That's that's all I'm gonna say. They're fucking oh, idiots. <laughs> I'm just being real. Per hundred <laughs> works with him on the floor. But how is that possible? Basketball wise, I'm not attacking Dave. It's because he misses so much. Minutes. Guys like Denny Avia are already over it. On Denny, not Denny Benito. Whatever the fuck your name is. Because he misses so much. Don't he guys shoot? Like, like come on, gang. Like, see, look, I don't like that right there. I feel like. Misses. I feel like Denny Vadita just doing that shit because it's Jordan Poole. Niggas probably see him get punked on cam. Now they just trying to hold a nigga for all type of reasons. And now you know the media was like, oh, he's a bad teammate. He this and that. Everything coming out of the woodworks. Now you just trying to. Because, like, ain't no real nigga doing this on the court. And first of all, nigga, let this man cook. Like, bro, you right there. If he passed that. what you, you got your hand up. Like, why would he pass it to you? Just why? Niggas. What is the name? Dante something. He right there. You know what I'm saying? Bro, right here, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, why you just... Come on, man. It's just like... You know the camera's rolling. Be a real nigga. Much I don't fuck with that now. Like, but sit your ass down. Because there was Curry doing the same shit. Or... Let me let me piss somebody who, like, less than Curry. If there was, um... LaMelo Ball. Or... If there was maybe Kuzma on that team, he would not be doing that. Because of Jordan Poole, he want to fucking... You feel me? Like, come on, bro. That's fucked up. That's some whole shit. So, in total, the Wizards are negative 31 and a half points worse with Jordan Poole. That's see, I'm, I'm trying to defend a nigga, but damn, I see... Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Dina Vadita. Whatever your fucking name is. I see I see why you did that. Because this nigga, he fucking y'all... Okay, he fucking so y'all team up. That, it's also about his teammates. But he the fucking y'all team up. Is, they don't even like Jordan that much. A reporter named Mark Stein just said, did the Wizards trade for Jordan Poole to try to rebuild his trade value and move him later? Or to make him a cornerstone player of their future? My sense from speaking to various league observers, they plan on trading him. They don't even Damn. believe in Jordan for the future. Instead, they are using him to suck and get the number one pick. And what kind of effect will that have on his career? Now, the number one pick next year could be well, one of three players. The before, before I hear that, I want to say this. But, well, Jordan Poole got 150 million. He got a ring. So, at this point, he just got to work in his game. He just got to, like, be smarter, bro. Just be smarter, bro. I feel like he just, he's still stuck in A and U, my nigga. He's still stuck in that same the mindset, first bro. is Alex Saar, a 7'1 center in Australia who is an elite defensive 18 year Damn. Then, Ron 18. Holland in the G League. A 6'6 wing who dropped 26 and 5 steals against he Alex good. Star's own team. And number he three good, is Isaiah Collier, a 6'3 nah. guard who is Bronny James' teammate at USC. I don't, fuck, I don't think Broken be out like that, bro. Actual future. Jordan Poole will be an afterthought. What's his reputation going to be after all that losing? Who wants him? Maybe the Warriors? Everyone got excited yeah. after their 6-2 and two start. But that was all fueled by Steph Curry. Once he came back down to earth, the dubs fell with him. Clay Thompson mm. is starting slow, as usual. And did you ass. see him blow that layup against Minnesota? That's the kind of thing you see from he's ass. players past their prime. He's just not the Andrew same player. He's not ass, ass, ass though. But he's ass. And Steve Kerr called him out. He's he need to wake a up. A couple weeks away from really being able to have his conditioning and rhythm where he wants it to be. Fuck out of here, Kerr. Nice way of saying. Warriors fan. Let me talk to the Warriors fan. Do y'all do y'all really fuck with Kerr as a coach, bro? Like I'm telling, I understand y'all had success. Y'all maybe team of the decade, whatever. But it's like, bro, like be real, bro. He's not that good of a coach, bro. Like be honest, bro. He's not that good of a fucking coach. If you had maybe Pop or or fucking um, you know, Eric Spolstra. On that team, bro. Bro, y'all be a better fucking team, bro. Let's not add like Mark Jackson, then Bill Child, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was a good ass fucking coach. Y'all got rid of him. He's not in shape. Chris Paul has been amazing at not he been good. all over. He's been good. Assists. But they he been good. Points. Points. The step was out on Tuesday. The Warriors didn't have one player score over 20 points in a game besides Steph. That is That's embarrassing. Crazy. Now, That's I am crazy. sure they will break out of this slump. But this is exactly Trade what back for him, bro. Poole used to help them. Whenever Steph didn't have it, Jordan could step in and could drop 30 exactly. on any given night. Or I said that. Dubs could trade for Zach Levine. Look, I know it sounds... I don't want that to happen. I'm a Lakers fan. But, I ain't, but as a basketball fan, y'all need to get Levine. If y'all get Levine, that'll fix all y'all problems. And Draymond come back good. That'll fix all y'all problems. Y'all need to get Levine. Levine y'all need another big, I feel like, too, though. Block, and there is one deal that actually makes sense. And he look like a splash, bro. A typical light-skinned nigga. He'll fit right on in. 
You know what I'm saying? He'll fit right the fuck in. But yeah, man. Hey, I just feel like Jordan Poole, man. He gotta, he gotta, he gotta go to the drawing board, bro. He gotta change the game a little bit. Not even change the game. Hold on. Just not even change the game, but just come a little smarter, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I don't know, bro. He just he wilding right now. I ain't gonna count. He wilding, bro. Like he be he play like A and U. They would look like to me. So he he gotta fix that shit, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? But you don't just not give it a thumbs up because my videos down below. Got more reactions on the way. Mighty motherfucker, man. You know what the fuck going. On.